Okay, now this is not something that you're going to be examined on in the physics course, but it is important for engineers to understand because this is how this theorem is applied to engineering. So often when you buy a material to build something from, it's got an R value marked. R is equal to R length term divided by R conductivity term. And it's, it's referred to as an R value. So the formula for the rate of flow is heat with R values is P is equal to the surface area, the hot side, the difference in temperature between the hot side and the cold side, over the sum of the R values for whatever materials you're building it from. So this just says that if you have a composite material, to get the total R value, you just need to add the R values from each part. This table presents the R values for some substances that are commonly used in building. This table is actually taken from the textbook, which is an American textbook, and so it has very strange units. You can see the units for R values here are feet squared per degrees Fahrenheit per hour per British thermal unit. So in our more normal units, the feet squared becomes meters squared, degrees Fahrenheit becomes degrees Celsius, and this is time divided by energy units. British thermal units are related to joules. To get from one to the other, you need to multiply by 1,055. But the time divided by the energy is equal to the inverse of watts. So we have per watt here instead of HBTU normally. To get from these very weird American units to R units, you just divide by a number which is approximately 6. These are just presented here so that if you ever see these units, that's you know what it's talking about. But in physics, we will not be using these units, we will be using SI units. So here's a question for us to try. Calculate the total R value for a wall constructed as shown. So we've got bricks, we've then got some sheathing, we've got an airspace, and finally we've got some plasterboard. Okay, so let's just draw a little diagram. We've got bricks here. And there's 10 centimetres of bricks. We've then got 1.2 centimetres of sheathing. We've got 2 centimetres of air and 1.2 centimetres of plasterboard. And we know that P is equal to A dH minus TC over the sums of the R values, and this is equal to Ka delta T over L, and so we know that the sums of the R's is equal to L on K. And so all we need to do is add the L on K for each of these different materials. So we'll need to look that up in the table. K for brick is equal to 0 0.70 watts per metre per Kelvin. K for sheathing is equal to 2.0 watts per metre per Kelvin. K for air is equal to 0 0.0234 watts per metre per Kelvin. And finally, we've got plasterboard, so K for plasterboard is equal to 0 0.174 watts per meter per Kelvin. So RR is equal to 0 0.10 meters over 0 0.70 plus we've got the sheathing so that's 0 0.012 meters over 2.0 plus the air which is the 0 0.02 over the 0 0.0234 plus the plasterboard, which is the 0 0.012 over 0 0.174. So solving this on the calculator, 
we end up with 1.073 meters squared kelvins per watt. And so that's the R value for this wall.